Good morning, everyone. It's time for our children's story. And I have two items here this morning. I have a recipe book, which is filled with recipes. And I have a road atlas, which is filled with maps. Now, I have a question for you. What do you think these two things have in common? A recipe book with recipes and maps. Well, the recipes, they tell us how to cook something. And the map, it tells us how to get places. It seems pretty straightforward, doesn't it? But if I want to make a recipe then, if I want to make something, to cook something, I have to follow the recipe step by step. And if I want to get somewhere, I need to follow the directions on the map. But there aren't many people that use maps anymore. We all use GPS or Google Maps in our car and we we pull up our phone and we punch in the address and then it, it tells us, right, step by step, how to get there. And so I have a question for the cooks in the congregation. Do you always use a recipe? Do you always follow that recipe step by step and item by item, measuring carefully and you know, scraping off the flour, excess flour from the measuring cup? Do you add anything extra? Do you add more of this and less of that? So if you do, what gives you the authority to do that? The knowledge that you have? The belief in yourself that you know better than the recipe? You've experimented over time. Some have worked, some haven't. How about people that you travel with in a car? That someone who always knows a shortcut or who always knows a better way to get there. When we have that map and it's telling us, well, you go here and turn left and then go here and then turn there. Or when you have the Google Maps going, right? And it's telling us which way is the shortest or which way is the fastest. But there's always someone who thinks that they know better. And so you're driving along and Google Maps says, well, in 500 meters, turn right, or now in 250 meters, turn right. Turn right on the name of this street. And what does the driver do? Keep on going. They don't turn right because they know a shortcut. And Google Maps, it says, recalculating, and then it may tell you to turn around and take that street again, or it may recalculate and, and give you a new route based on where you're going. In our epistle reading this morning, we hear from the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians. He's writing a letter to a church in a city called Corinth, a church that he founded six years before, but a church that is now beginning to to stray, beginning to go their own way, not follow what he set down, what he's told them to do. A church that is questioning his authority, just like we question maps or we question recipes, or we even question our parents. And Paul, he tries to explain to them, he tries to help them see the truth So what happens when your parents, or when you don't do what your parents want? When you question their authority, when they say, clean your room, and you go, I don't want to clean my room. I like it messy, it's not that bad. What's the response? Clean your room. Clean your room, There, there is no other answer. They keep saying, clean your room. Or perhaps then they get angry, that you're not following their their orders or their rules. They begin to make threats, punishment, right? If you don't stop doing that, I'll count to three. If you don't stop that, or if you don't do that, I'm going to send, send you to your room, give you a time out. You can't watch TV, you can't play that video game. But at the end of it all, somehow, some way, sometime, Our parents say that they love us and they show us how much they love us. And Paul does the same thing at the end of this letter today to this congregation in Corinth. At the end, he says to them, he offers them the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit. It's almost like Google Maps, 
right? When I don't follow the directions that they're giving me, when I go straight instead of turning right. I mean, just once I'd like to hear Google Maps say, you're on your own now, Buster. You want to do it your way? Go ahead, get lost. But it doesn't. All it says is recalculating. And that's kind of like God. When we do our own thing, when we go our own way, when we come back later and say, I'm sorry, God. And God says, it's okay. I forgive you. Recalculating. Amen. Can you pray after me this morning? Dear God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for your grace, for always forgiving us, Help us to follow you, even when we want to go our own way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Our praise song, Down to the River to Pray. <laughs>